We had a good week to get our to, to find the holes that we had in our game and, and improve in some even some areas that we think we were just playing pretty well and uh, get a little rest and now uh, we begin a, a, a going for one of the better championships in all the preseason exempted tournaments the the preseason NIT uh, really have a, a very good pit team that uh, last year had a lot of experience for a lot of players and. All of them are back. They have one, one or two freshmen playing any type of minutes. Everybody else is very veteran. And uh, Jamie Dixon is a terrific coach. Have uh, had really good games with him in the past, and uh, there his record speaks for himself. And Pitt and Pitt's uh, success over the last ten years. What holes did you find on the film? Oh, uh, I think that we have to communicate better and talk better. I mean, there was a lot of open shots that we gave up that people just didn't make and. Just to being a step late, it just the normal timing and communication. Same thing with our offense. We have to we have to cut harder. We have to run faster. We have, there's some things that as coaches we got to make sure they do. Was it mainly defensive holes though? I mean, if yeah, no, just yeah. It's just when you when you're getting different action like that, especially in back-to-back -back games. There's just little things we can learn a lot from, and it might be as simple as having your hands up, you know, when you're closing out. Uh, to uh, put, sticking your, or picking your foot up when you're trying to shuffle, or it could be something schematic. Playing the three games in five days as you did, and now you'll go two and two days, or two and three days. Now, is it something conditioning-wise and health-wise and stuff? Did those guys all respond okay? Yeah, you know what we did. We we really tried to simulate this as would be a normal two-day prep for a game. So we had yesterday off, and but we pushed them really hard Saturday. We had enough hours left that we could lift weights, we could have a full scrimmage Saturday, about a 40-minute scrimmage amongst ourselves because Pitt was playing at the same time. And just but get our heart rates really up like a game situation. I don't think you want to have too long off. And with a week off, we want to make sure Saturday was game, game like. The injured guys like Horford and stuff, they were okay? Yeah, yeah, everybody was fine. John, you said you wanted to see Mitch in another week of Camp Sanderson and Camp yeah. Elon. How has he looked in this he, You know what, he made uh, some of our, we have this, uh, fitness test that we do with people, he made it. So he is getting there. Uh, again, uh, the fitness test is not a basketball test because there's only one thing like that where you're sprinting and sprinting and boxing out and struggling or, uh, or you know, uh, being physical in the post and then running and running. We didn't do that part. But he certainly uh, is making the right, the right progression where he can play in there effectively for five or six minutes at a time. I think it's unrealistic today Today's game, you have a big man uh, not get a rest somewhere along the line of after five or six minutes right now, unless he's an incredible, incredible warrior and experienced player. Knows how to save his energy. Do you, ever, do you think about the last time you took a trip to New York and where that team was then compared to the team you're taking? I haven't thought about that at all, uh, but I do. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm very proud of our team that we're in this situation, that we're going to go to, to New York, play on a national stage, uh, a game against a, a very good Big East team. So it's, uh, it's very much like that situation, and as we're playing Madison Square Garden, our kids are really excited about it. You're and they were excited back then, too. You're expected to win this tournament, though, too. I mean, do you guys talk about that? Or I don't know is, is that, that anything you even we're, we're, You know, here's what we expect. We expect to go in there and play really hard. But we don't. That's all we're talking about. We're not talking about expecting to win. That will probably never come out of my, my mouth. Seeing that Pitt went to overtime with Oakland and Oakland had a big lead on them, <coughs> is, there, is there a different team maybe, Pitt, than you thought that they were going to No, I, I think that Oakland played an excellent game. I've watched the game. And uh, Oakland really played a, an excellent game with, some things <coughs> with Pitt that, uh, that I'm sure Pitt has adjusted to. And really, you know, Oakland can, has proven, especially uh, with – going down the road with their style of play can really uh, be uh, difficult for big teams to defend where they don't have it, they, they, where the four-man might get exposed at different times. But the four-man turned out to be really a, 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 made some big plays for them as well for the pit down the stretch. Being that it's an early season tournament, how much of an emphasis do you put on scouting those other teams playing and how much do you just want to focus on yourself? No, we'll treat it. We'll treat this just like any other game. I mean, we're trying to win every game. Uh, it, there's not the uh, you know your season's over like it would be the NCAA tournament, uh, but there is still we're trying to win every game. So there is we'll be We'll have two guys at the table scouting 
our future opponent on Wednesday. This is one of the rare situations you can do that. And uh, no, we've been for two or three days here. That's all we've been doing is watching Pitt, and I'm sure they're they've been doing that since their Oakland game as well.